the solar system is vast. In order to enhance our comprehension, we scaled it down a billion times and projected it onto the coastline of Peninsular Malaysia. We begin our journey at the Telek Kamang Observatory in Port Dixon, with the sun at the center of our scale model. In this scale model, the sun is represented by a 139-centimeter diameter sphere. The sun's mass accounts for approximately 99.9% .9 of the total mass of the solar system. The hottest part of the sun is its core, where temperatures exceed 15 million degrees Celsius. Here, hydrogen is being converted into helium. This nuclear fusion reaction produces enormous amounts of energy. To reach the innermost planet in the solar system, we must travel approximately 58 meters in the scale model. Mercury is the smallest of the eight planets in our solar system. In our model, it is smaller than 5 millimeters, around the size of a pencil top rubber. It is the fastest planet, orbiting around the Sun every 88 Earth days. However, one solar day, sunrise to sunrise, on Mercury is equivalent to approximately 176 Earth days. This means that one side of Mercury will be in sunlight for one Mercurian year of 88 Earth days. We leave Mercury behind and travel farther, until we are approximately 108 meters away from the model Sun. Here we meet our next planet, Venus. Venus is sometimes referred to as Earth's twin, due to its comparable size and mass. It is represented as a sphere with a diameter of 1.2 centimeters. The thick, CO2-rich atmosphere of Venus generates a strong greenhouse effect, making it the hottest planet in the solar system. Radar can pierce the thick clouds to reveal the surface beneath, and several missions have observed Venus's surface in the past decades. We continue our voyage till we reach a very familiar planet. Planet Earth is around 150 meters from the model Sun. Just slightly larger than Venus, Earth is represented by a sphere of 1.3 centimeters. It is the only planet in our solar system that has liquid water on the surface. Oceans cover approximately 70% of the Earth's crust. The presence of liquid water, combined with other hospitable conditions, allowed life to develop and spread globally. Today, the world's population exceeds 8 billion. Human presence is clearly visible from space on the night side of our planet. After about 228 meters from the model Sun we arrive at the farthest inner planet, Mars. It is also known as the Red Planet because of its iron-rich minerals. In our model, Mars is only 7 millimeters in size, roughly half that of Earth. The length of a Martian day, or Sol, is 24.6 hours, which is comparable to a day on Earth. Mars, like Earth, has a tilted axis of rotation and different seasons. The seasons create CO2 ice, which covers the polar areas. To reach the first outer planet, we must travel 779 meters out from the model Sun. After crossing through the asteroid belt, we reach Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. In this instance, it is a sphere of 14.3 centimeters. Jupiter is a gas giant, which means its chemical makeup consists largely of hydrogen and helium. The gas giant rotates very quickly, with one rotation taking just under 10 hours, making it the shortest day in our solar system. 
Jupiter's most distinctive feature is the Great Red Spot, a massive storm larger than Earth that has been raging for more than 190 years. For the next planet, we must nearly double the distance from the Sun to 1.4 km. The gas giant Saturn, represented as a sphere of 12.1 cm, has the most prominent ring system of the outer planets. One day on Saturn lasts only 10.7 hours. The rings are mostly made of water ice, with particles ranging from dust-sized grains to boulders as big as a house. Within the ring's plane, shepherd moons such as Daphnis are sculpting the rings. Gravity from the little moon causes waves to rise along the boundaries of the gap it created. The next planet is about 2.9 kilometers from the model Sun. Uranus is the third largest planet, depicted here as a 5.1 centimeter sphere. Uranus is categorized as an ice giant. Most of the planet is made of water, ammonia, and methane. The ice giant is surrounded by a faint ring system. Uranus appears to rotate sideways due to its unusual tilt. To reach the final planet, we must travel farther than ever before. In our model, we have to travel four and a half kilometers away from the Sun. In the actual solar system, sunlight takes slightly longer than four hours to get from the Sun to the outermost planet. Only a few space probes have visited this region of space. Only one, Voyager 2, performed a flyby of the next planet, Neptune, the farthest planet in the solar system. Ice giant Neptune is slightly smaller than Uranus and is depicted here as a sphere of 5.0 cm. It takes the outermost planet almost 165 years to orbit the Sun. Many images of Neptune, captured during the Voyager 2 flyby, show the planet in a much deeper blue. Recently, researchers rebalanced the images using additional data sources, resulting in images more accurately reflecting the true colors. This concludes our incredible journey through the solar system. We traveled a mere four and a half kilometers in the scale model, which translates to an astonishing 4.5 billion kilometers in reality.